What's going on, everybody? I'm Sean Ryan. I'm 32, and Cowboys butts drive me nuts. And I'm Coley Colgate, and I've been fucking my twin brother for 17 years. All this and more coming up on Drunk Kill Radio. <laughs> farting on no snare drum what's going on everybody this is trend kill radio a rock news show about all things rock except for when it's not brought to you by the foundry fantasy entertainment complex right here in cleveland ohio i am your host sean ryan and i'm coley Colgate. he's what's back up? what back. up back at it bitches stop what you're doing and hit subscribe go ahead do the thingy smash 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 i was choked on my beer we should stop <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> As always, let's just start off with the bad news first. We yeah. have Juan Alderette or Aldretti, maybe. Yeah, I'm Aldrete. just being like super white, and I'll just say Aldrette. I'm gonna say Aldretti. You know I don't speak Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> you stink! <laughs> I'm not even mad. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Doesn't matter how you pronounce it. Uh, this guy is a uh, notable bassist. Been in a lot of great projects. Mars Volta. Manson currently. Welcome to Jelly Beans. Can I uh, take your trash? Touring, I believe. Kind of been around the block in the in the uh, rock and metal worlds for some time. Yeah, he filled in uh, after Tweety Ramirez was accused of some sort of sexual misconduct we'll from that broad from uh, Jack Off Jill. Love Jack. Uh, yeah, he was released from Marilyn Manson, and Juan replaced him. And, uh, you know, he's been taking it light. He's in his 50s now, and uh, he's out for a bike ride outside of his home, and something happened. He got in some sort of bike accident, and now uh, is in a coma. The details are sparse. There's not a lot of information on what exactly happened. He wasn't hit by a car. He wasn't hit by a bus or fall off a building. Like, he just probably just fell off his bike. Now he's got some seriously traumatic brain injury, and he's in a coma. Yeah, dude, and he was wearing a helmet. Which is like, fuck you, mom. This was completely just God going, you're Something. done. Yeah, like how? Like, <laughs> Down. If you watch Preacher, you'll see like God is an asshole. Loving. Yeah. Hope and love. The greatest of the. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look around you, Sean. <laughs> I just think it's, it's fucking wild. Like, what was he doing? What happened? How do you just end up in a coma? Yeah, and he was off a, of a bicycle. An experienced bike rider and stuff, too. Like, I mean, but he was on, like, like his... He wasn't learning how to ride a bike. Neighborhood He's 54. Street. He wasn't, like, mountain biking. <laughs> right. He was just on his neighborhood street, and the details are still not Right outside really his house. He kept, probably came out his driveway and just tipped over. And he's in a fucking coma. Oh, we can't stress that enough. That is he's the weirdest shit in the world. Uh, Juan's wife, Anne, she says, quote, Hi, everyone. This is Anne, Juan's wife. While I generally hesitate to share personal details on social media, Media, it felt right to include all of you who've supported Juan over the years as friends, fans, fellow music and food, cat, bike, Japan lovers and musicians. Juan was in a solo, no cars, no other people, and very serious bike accident on 113.20 and not far from our home. He, as always, was wearing a helmet and protective clothing, but sustained serious head trauma in the form of traumatic brain injury. His form of TBI is diffuse axonal injury, and as of today, he remains in a coma. That is so, fucking nuts. Dude's been in a coma since the 13th right now it is the 25th yeah, and you guys will time. see this on like the 28th and he'll probably still be in a bicycle bicycle related coma i don't understand i'm at a loss and i have no other words yeah that is fucking crazy dude no so. i have other words can i say it? fucking wild what <laughs> i hope he's recovers yeah no, no, a great no. basis even still you know i'm a fan of the projects that have included him over the years yeah gotta he, be a he was in caliber mars volta in for about 10 bands. years weird but like a step down he went into like marilyn manson where he's just going ding 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 but you, we do wish juan the best and that's really unfortunate for him and his wife and his family i'm sure he's got kids yeah anyway yeah crazy so just do a speedy recovery uh juan um, if you're watching this, here's your buddy in, in coma heaven. Jesus is, Christ! Well, no, I'm, I think that when people are in comas, they're there, but they're like in a different place, you know, yeah. coma heaven or hell. If you're the basis for Marilyn Manson, I guess. God, I would love to sleep for two weeks. I can arrange that. I have a bicycle. Bikes, and that's why I yell bikes all the time. <laughs> 
All right. Next. next. <laughs> okay, next up, we got Joey Kramer in Aerosmith, and it is kind of like a really long, drawn out, confusing story. Like every fucking article I've ever read about Aerosmith, there's like way too many cooks in the kitchen. Yeah. Well, everybody's got way too much to say. So we're just, we have to really condense this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it the old college try. There's a lot going on here. Joey Kramer, he is the 50 year veteran uh, uh, drummer of Aerosmith. He has been in there since the dawn. He was recently denied access to play with them, which is uh, not not fucking cool. Not cool. Uh, he had a he had a minor injury. I, I was reading a couple things about it. One was like a shoulder, and then one was an ankle injury. But they were small. Irregardless, regardless. Yeah, don't say irregardless. But Webster's like actually took that and said like, oh yeah, it's a word. People no. are stupid, so we'll just make it work. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Regardless, <laughs> it was some sort of injury that in some way or another affected his ability to play drums. But also. Age. Yes, dude is 69 <laughs> years dude old. Dude looks like a senior. Won't you come home, Franz Browder? Won't you come home? Uh. Ach du lieber, das ist not einer booby. Uh, yes, he, uh, he had some minor injuries, blah, 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 and he wanted to get back with the band, and everybody back and forth, they're just going like, oh, well, he wasn't showing up to practice, and then Joey's saying, oh, well, they only told me about these gigs, you know, a couple days before, yeah, he and blah, blah, blah. They had a Vegas residency, and this is, oh, man, did this aggravate the shit out of me. They had a Vegas residency that mm. Joey could not perform at, Dude and he injuries. was... Find twenty thousand dollars per week. Money, money, money. By the band. By his own band to play the replacement. His to pay brothers. the replacement drummer to play. Who is just his fucking drum tech? Exactly. Side it's note. not like they were put just out. Just a side note. Drummers making twenty thousand dollars, if not more than that, a week. Insane. What? When you get a residency <laughs> in Vegas, though, like uh, the that there. That's is cream o the crop. I Britney, bitch. Celine, bitch, Motley Crue, bitch, <laughs> Big Mac, 103, 103. <laughs> um, but yeah, there, there's just so many back and forth stories. It's actually so just convoluted. They're just shitting all over him. Yeah, if and, I'm being honest, I hate it. And I don't he was even know the guy. He was supposed to play at a event. No, no, actually, at two events. One yesterday for uh, a company called Music Cares. But if I'm not mistaken, Music Cares was awarding Aerosmith the Person of the Year award at the Grammy for their yeah, contribution. Yeah, and, and the Grammys this Sunday. So then the Grammys which, was another performance, which is part of the, the whole Grammys weekend. But anyways, and he was denied access to partake in those. Before we get into that, Joey, he had sued all of Aerosmith. Saying, like, you gotta let me in the band. Yeah, I'm the I'm fucking the drummer. Band. I'm not a hired gun. For I'm 50 years. I'm actually obligated to be here. And the judge kind of went, like, nah, we can't, <laughs> we can't force a band not to do that. keep you in there. I sentence you to kiss my ass. Not gonna, not and, gonna, not gonna happen. Yeah, he was disappointed about it, but I mean, like, yeah, like, how do you sue over something like that? He said it was gonna be an uphill battle, yeah. and the, it, it didn't I, come I out think in for his him, favor. It's probably more the principle of the situation. Yeah, like, you know, fuck you guys. If you're gonna fuck me, fuck you. And I think that's what he was trying to do, hoping that Aerosmith and the guys in Aerosmith or legal, whoever the fuck, would say, ah, oh, fuck, you're right, you're right. We're sorry, we're sorry. Just we'll figure it out. We'll make it work because we're brothers. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Well, I mean, they wanted him to play to a click track. He really. Really can't do it. He did practice a couple weeks ago, and the stress of it caused a, a couple more problems. And then they went, "No, you have to play to a click track." And then he sued. Right. And then they went, "Like, oh no, fuck you!" And so, we have to get somebody else. Any band you've ever heard of that has had an injured member can always get somebody like that. Especially Aerosmith. <laughs> like, and like the did. day they of, did. they literally got the next best guy who was his fucking drum tech. Like, no, and they're still complaining. It's just '70s rock and roll, man. Dude. It's four on the floor. So like I feel like this sets kind of a precedent, though. So if they're just going to do this to him, I mean, they're all getting old. What's going to happen when Joe Perry can't fucking play anymore? Funny you mentioned that because, you know, during uh, a couple shows not too long ago, we saw Joe Perry not be able to play Living right. on the Edge. And, are like, Steven Tyler was out? just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and Joe's like, uh, uh, shred, just leave bro. me alone. <laughs> I'm fine. Leave me alone. <laughs> what, I mean, what do you honestly expect? Your drummer's going to fall apart. Your, everyone in the band is going to fall apart. And you can either do one of two things. You can either be a dick and do what they're doing, or you just say, fuck it. We're going to go out and do this because this is what we're going to do. Or the third option, which they've neglected long ago, is hang it up. And they didn't do that. <laughs> so real quick, Joey did show up to rehearsal yep. and was met by two security, security guards. guards. 
Let me see your ID. Yeah, fucking high five, bro. Hell yeah, yeah brother. We kicked we here. kicked this old man out of here. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> yeah. I remember uh, listening to Aerosmith when I was a kid. Now I'm working <laughs> the door, so it's kind of a gig. <laughs> I am. Um, yeah. So and that happened, and then just yesterday, which was Friday the 24th, they had the music hairs, uh, the Award. music hair awards. And he was allowed on stage with them mm -hmm. just for press. He was on the red carpet, and they played three songs, which were actually really simple fucking songs, too. I can't believe they wouldn't let him just fucking play. Like, give it a shot. We've seen Steven Tyler blow it. He's fallen off the fucking stage. Joe Perry, he couldn't play guitar just, like, uh, I mean, two months ago. Also, let's not... Brad Whitford, uh, well, no, 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 Brad, no, Tom Hamilton... He had cancer, and he was out of the band for a while. Did they charge him $20,000 a week? Probably not. No. And let's not forget the fact that these huge televised fucking shows are all played to a backtrack most of the time in some capacity. Just fucking put them up there. Don't mic it. Like, just for fucking... I, I, yeah! I'm so mad. I've never not liked Aerosmith, but I kind of don't like him anymore. Him? <laughs> I don't like him anymore? <laughs> Is that what you said? Did I say him? <laughs> Them. I meant to say them, <laughs> but it's 2020, and I don't know how they identify. Ooh, <laughs> sick recovery. <laughs> so no, uh, by the time this airs, the Grammys will have come Another and gone. And they... I didn't get one. You beat Dexy's Midnight Runners. Well, you haven't heard the last of them. But, yep, but that's the end of that story. So next. next. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, this episode ran, like, really long, and I didn't want to bore the hell out of you. So, part two will be up Friday the 31st, this Friday, where we were discussing the Mars Volta singer having to put his dogs down due to Scientologists. It's, like, this weird fucking crazy story. So, please be sure to subscribe, hit your notifications, and we will see you at 8.30 this Friday. Later.